Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Saturday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I'm just giving to you clarification and update on this story which I carried earlier in the week. Now we head to Westmoreland once again, where this man's screen who is known as Two-Face was killed at a place called Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, based on news article, Romario Dillian, age 29, who is a businessman of Fuller's Field in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, was at his business place with a bar and grill on Big Bridge where gunmen pulled up in a Toyota Mark X. Those gunmen then came inside the restaurant and fired several shots, hitting both Romario Dillian and his sister. Now, now, Romario Dillon, aka Two-Face, succumbed to his injuries while in his business place. But his sister is in hospital nursing gunshot wounds. Now, so far the police are investigating. And as yet, there is no motive as to why Two-Face, as known as Romario Dillon, was murdered or targeted. The police are investigating. Now still the parish of Westmoreland where SOE is in full effect but it won't stop the murders because this morning in Green Jail in a place called Godfrey Street a man who is of age 30 who is known as Hubert Callum was shot and killed by gunmen. Now right now the news is very sketchy but I'll update you in the next news broadcast of what time it happened and hopefully get a picture of who Hubert Callum is. But still there are murders occurring in Westmoreland even though there's a SOE in full effect. So the SOE is not stopping murders not at all. The SOE as said before time and time again has served its purpose. It has not been substantial anymore is not a strong plan to solve or curve crime. Now still in Kingston and St. Andrew, dancer artist Joshi has turned himself into the police. Yes, officially he is now in the presence of the police. Now dancer artist Joshi is stating that he's innocent and he's not connected to the murder of businessman Omar Wright who was murdered at his place of business on June 7. Now Omar Wright had a dispute with Joshi's mother and hours later Joshi went to him and they had an altercation and after altercation Mr. Wright at the place of business where gunmen went and he was shot multiple times. Or the brother of Omar Wright, who lives overseas, who is alleged done, said that in Argoso, he want Joshi dead and Joshi must go. Now back in Spanish town, I did a video earlier this week of this young man on the screen right now who is known as bad being. Now I said that he was killed on John's Road but however did not give you full details on what transpired. Now in this video I want to give you a full update and full details on what happened on Thursday morning where bad being was shot and killed on John's Road. Now Thursday morning around 7 15 a.m. a police team went to a section of John's Road where they saw bad being. Now, however, the police team and Bad Bean got into a confrontation where Ban Bad Bean was shot and killed by the police. Now, after which, a 9mm pistol was taken off the body of Bad Bean. Now, right now, Indicom is investigating this incident. Now, based on information, Bean, aka Bad Bean, is said to be a known 
criminal element in the era of John's Road and he was targeted by the police team. However, the police team came out victorious in this confrontation. However, this incident got the attention of Indicom and right now they are investigating the matter to find out what transpired and if there was actually a confrontation between Bad Bean and the police team on Thursday morning on John's Road. When I saw this article coming out of Montego Bay, I said to myself that, No sir, this cannot be. Greedy back on the road after he was held by the police in Catherine Mount with his girlfriend. Yes, Greedy was released by the police and now he's back behind bars. Now Greedy, who is the top four wanted man in the parish of St. James, was released and now in custody once again. But this time, the police actually get something to charge him for. Now, Greedy was in a motor vehicle traveling when he was stopped by the police. Now the police made a search and a firearm illegal gun recovered by the police. Yes, Greedy will get let go the other day. Who was held on last week. Now, get free and now back behind bars. Clive Lawson Jr. aka Greedy is also one of the persons who are spewing the violence along with his brother Brockhan in the parish of St. James against the arrival who is known as Poppy. Many persons have been killed including Greedy's father. Now Greedy was set to attend his father's funeral who is Clive Lawson Sr. a popular businessman who is from Mount Salem who was killed outside his business place in May. Now not only Greedy was held but also a Mandigo Bay based dancer artist who was inside that car along with Greedy where he was held for an illegal gun and ammunition. Now this artist is known as 5th Gen Music. That's right. Dancer artist 5th Gen Music. Now 5th Gen not only is a dancer artist in Montego Bay but is also affiliated and also a member of the notorious KDF. And when I say KDF, I mean Killer Defense Force. You all know who is the leader of that gang? Yes, man. None other than yours truly, Brokan, who is known as O'Shane Francis. Now, Brokan is one of those gangsters or gang leader who change the name of his gang very frequently. At first, they are unknown, no limit gang, but now they have changed their name to KDF, which means Killer Defense Force, and they are actually causing mayhem and still causing mayhem in the parish of St. James, the Montego Bay region to be exact, with a lot of murders. Now last week you saw where two of, yes, Two of Brockhan's cronies went after a dancer artist. However, they weren't successful. They were caught by the police and also guns were taken off the two cronies. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Saturday night.
Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play with him and review the thing them J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel In review news and entertainment Celebrity lifestyle movements as well J Crazy not play with him and review the thing them Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy